looking at this whole um, is fundamentalist Islam. These things, again, do not come out of a vacuum. People do not just suddenly wake up, read the Quran and say, you know what? I'm going to go bomb some American because fuck all reason. It doesn't, these, these ideologies are not born from a vacuum. Yes, we can say that it is fundamentalist or radical Islam. Yes, we can say these people are crazy and what they're doing is bad. But what the media tends to overlook is the environment with which these fundamentalists are born or they thrive in. If you go to a country like, say, for example, Afghanistan or Iraq, Iraq at a point had the best healthcare in the Middle East. Iraq at a point was receiving arms from America. In fact, um, Saddam Hussein was an ally, was considered an ally of um, um, America up until I think the 80s or 90s when they had a sour in relationships. But when you see your country, right, go from, you know, you're just having a decent country, things are hard but they're okay, to suddenly buildings getting bombed, you have no home, your parents are dead, and then someone on the opposite end of the street calls you and just, I'm just giving you a scenario. I've never interacted with terrorists because I feel like you need to say these things because people might think, you know, I'm a sympath, I'm not sympathetic, I've said it to stupid, but... In noting that it is stupid to blow yourself up, you still need to acknowledge the environment that breeds this terrorist. So if you have someone on the other end of the street that calls you over and says, look over there, look at that American soldier. He is the problem. He is the reason why your mom is dead and you have no home. And you are an impressionable person and you're angry. They're feeding off that anger and they're telling you Allah says you should fight the infidels. Of course you're going to do it. Why? Because you're angry. You're upset. You have no home. You have no, your future looks bleak. And that is another thing which is being peddled by the media. This fear mongering of Muslims are coming to get you while neglecting the fact that America has toppled regimes. America has invaded countries for no good reason. America has occupied countries, has destroyed countries, has killed hundreds of thousands of people. And this is the absence of recording or of reporting within the media that people are overlooking and are getting worked up over these fears. If you as a candidate, if you as a political activist cannot bring these things to the forefront of the people and someone listens to Trump who um, is thriving off of this fear of Muslims, you are to blame. Because when it counted for you to educate people about what is really happening, you didn't. When it counted for you to campaign for this person, in a competent, in a logical way, you didn't. You tried to go on certain stupid sentiments that nobody really believes in.